Friday, 2nd of November. After, I don't know, six weeks without cycling, our cycling bags are now packed, unpacked again. Uh, clothes are packed in them, cycling shorts are on. Yeah. So now we're leaving, so we just have to weave our way out of the city, past all the motor bikes and scooters, and then get out into the countryside. So we should be doing that this morning, then we should be in another town this this evening so we'll see how it goes how long it takes to get out of the city you have to do that first so ready to go yeah we're see. ready to go to <laughs> see Vietnam see if we can still remember how to bike <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll see you outside not sure if we're filming the city too much we need to concentrate I think so okay see you later <laughs> so we've just been staying in the hotel there <laughs> Beach doing hotel Great place in the side street here. Now it's time to ride with some scooters and see what that's like. Okay, so now we're just uh, on the outskirts of the city now. We have three of the centre. About five kilometres, we should be out of the city completely. Okay, driving into town here where we try and find some lunch. Okay, so now we arrived uh, at our first lunch stop here in Vietnam. Yes. So uh, quite a nice place here in Ben Luc, a nice uh, coffee shop here. So uh, yeah, we made it out of the city okay. Actually much easier than I expected. There was a lot of uh, scooters but they were all slow moving scooters so we just slowly weaved our way out of the city. So uh, oh, it's okay really. Jamie did a good uh, good riding there. So, so now we're out of the city, we're 35 kilometers out of the city now. So it's actually uh, more difficult when we cycle in Helsinki the ones uh, trying to get to the ferry port than here, so that was quite surprising. But, uh, yeah. That but, yeah. was uh, when I was how many years old? Nine, I think. Nine years old, I think. Now we nearly know. Where we have six, uh, six weeks holiday in Sweden and Finland. Yeah, so that was another trip, but this is much bigger. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so we really enjoy a nice, uh, what we ordered, pizza now. Yeah, I have. We have ordered a pizza, and now we just think milkshake because we're because we have did a good job, and I didn't know I didn't notice that Vietnam have so beautiful roads because all of the roads we have cycling on there are only tarmac, and it's totally smooth and not bumpy and shaking, and yeah, it's very good asphalt here. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. This afternoon we should be more in the countryside, so we'll see what that's like. So. We'll have some lunch now. Okay. Okay, back on the road after lunch. So we might go out to this small town and hopefully into the countryside. Going down a lot now, no cars at all, really just a few scooters. So, just out in the countryside now, going past the, the first rice fields we've just seen. Extremely beautiful, lush green colour. So we uh, use a navigation program called Maps Me. It seems to be guiding us on a very nice route here. Nice route out of the city and now nice uh, route through the rice fields here.
easy going flat cycle ride no hills at all I'm just taking it slowly here we've already done uh, 50 kilometers today without any effort really quite uh, warm but we stayed in a nice air conditioned cafeteria for lunch so uh, you get cooled down nicely there so, yeah so far very easy going to think that a few hours ago we we're in the middle of a busy city and now we're just cycling down gravel tracks here with rice fields at each side of us pretty amazing really also very uh, flat today only uh, have to climb an elevation of 12 meters today spread out over 75 kilometers that's just how flat it is kind of fish farms they have here crossing here in Vietnam, probably the first of many, the many rivers we have to cross. Uh, they also sell oranges, time for an orange break. <laughs> Good oranges Jamie. Here's something we're not used to seeing, oranges that are actually green with orange on the inside you don't see that very often <laughs> no. this is asia star i think it's because now we in another part of the world that means the orange is another color so that is like green but in denmark it's orange seen before in this kind of fruit it's like pink but we don't know what it is and we will find out but anyone know what this kind of fruit is please comment on Facebook beautiful it is here we didn't expect uh, such quiet country roads here tracks to cycle on the first day so it's quite a uh, quite nice riding This is the town of Moi Tho, so we're going to try and find a hotel here now. Now 
this is where we're staying today. Very easy really. We just pulled up and the guy uh, called us over and we can park our bikes there. And the room's just up there. That's easy. So we just turned up here in the town of Moitho. I think we've got about 76 kilometers today, so that was good. First day on the bike. But, uh, there's no point really camping in this country here because uh, this hotel here costs uh, nine euros for a night here, so <laughs> that's uh, quite cheap, much cheaper than India and then the places. So that was good. It was also good to be on the bike again, so uh, it's quite good flying from town to town and city to city, but still the best way to see a country, in my opinion, just to roll gently through it on a bicycle and just uh, yeah see all the life that's in between there the major cities and attractions that's where the real life is so that was good to be on the bike again a little bit tired and aching though now because we've uh, been six weeks we haven't been cycling so so that's good now we're here we'll try and find something to eat now and then, uh, have a rest i think it's amazing how quickly you appreciate simple things again once you've been on the bike all day just to get to a uh, just a normal standard hotel with a nice shower and uh, yeah, just something to eat. That's all you need really. You appreciate it much more than if you just uh, rest on the beach all day. It's a day of cycling and then everything tastes and uh, feels better. So we just spent a month in a country, India, where they don't uh, eat beef because that's uh, regarded as being sacred. But here they do. You can even uh, grill your own food on the barbecue there. Okay, here they only have chopsticks, so now Jamie's just having to learn how to get the hang of that. <laughs> so Vietnam is another country with the currency gone crazy. 2 million Vietnamese dong, that's about the same as 70 euros. So, <laughs> completely crazy. But never mind, this dinner here, it cost uh, 10 euros, so that's pretty good. Okay, so that's the end of our first day cycling here in Vietnam. Um, the main uh, goal today was just to get out of the city. Um, but uh, yeah, we did that. By lunchtime we were free of the city and uh, cycling in nice uh, countryside. So that was quite uh, nice to cycle down uh, quiet lanes so uh, that was good so now we're free of the city so uh, from here we're following a standard uh, cycling route that i found on the internet so we're just following their itinerary we'll be staying in the same towns and some of the same hotels maybe that they uh, they use so uh, from here on we'll be following that following it all the way into the mekong river and then we'll follow the mekong river into cambodia into the capital of cambodia so uh, so from here now we have two or three days cycling in the countryside now, uh, following rivers through Vietnam. So that's, uh, that's it for now. Uh, tomorrow we I think we have a little bit less tomorrow, about 65 kilometers we have to do tomorrow. With the same kind of scenery, countryside and river crossing. So, uh, so yeah, it's so new on the bikes. It's uh, nice to be cycling again at the end of the day. You feel uh, you enjoy your dinner more and uh, enjoy resting more. So that was today, we'll have a rest now and uh, see you tomorrow.